Hi friends, welcome back. Slight change of plans with the video this week because originally we were going to be doing a like old wives tale and gender announcement because we already know the gender of this baby. But we had a death in the family and then a trip to the ER for hence the next day after uh, my family member ha passed away and so we kind of wanted a more a chill video like one where we can actually sit down and talk instead of actually being active just because of the week we have had yeah um it's just kind of it works better for both of us <laughs> um just because we're still in this state of mourning um it's been really hard for me because i was really close to this family member who um passed away so we are doing a nice chill video and that is 10 baby names that we love but won't be using this time um these names are ones we will probably use in the future definitely some of them um i'm not expecting to have 10 children so we won't be using all of them um <laughs> we also won't be including the names that we're using for a little boy or girl yeah just because um just because we know the gender um we're not gonna say our mm. top picks for either how would you describe our name style i think we have a very specific it's old a, fashioned yeah kind of archaic i would call it archaic um which is when it's not in use really anymore yeah um some of these names are definitely in use um but i think old-fashioned names are kind of coming back into style right now and we chose some of these baby names, not all of them, but some of them while we were still dating in high school. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, um... We knew what we were doing with our lives, folks. Yeah, we, um, we knew very young that we were going to be getting married and eventually having children. And so, now we're here. And yeah. it's very exciting. But we don't really worry about name meanings, um, really origins either um we do have a slight preference towards like just because my most of my family is uh danish so we have a slight preference for some of those things yeah but it's a also a case of some of those names are really hard to pronounce like hence like hence <laughs> not really worried about that i would also say i like these names because these are ones that um won't go out of style just because they're not in style yeah let me see. Funny names. Oh, here's one. Like M Emily. E M M A L E E. That's ridiculous. Or I don't even know how to say that. You know, just we're not we're not choosing names kinda like that where it's very That was Isabel. That was Isabel? Yeah. Oh. Is yeah the point is is we're not doing names like that just because I, that's ridiculous. I want to spell it right on the birth certificate. And on to our first name. <clears throat> Susie. <laughs> yes, which is spelled S-U-C-Y. Oh, we should probably say we're starting with girls' names. You'll figure it out. Susie. I found another spelling for it. Um, it's S-U-K-E-Y, which is more Suki, which I think is also cute. <laughs> which I think is also cute. But, um, I thought those were the same names. I'm kind of questioning that now. So, the spelling that we both like is S-U-C-Y. Yeah. And, um, I originally found this name in the nursery rhyme, um, Polly Put the Kettle On. Uh, assuming that's the same name <laughs> of Suki versus Susie, but maybe I'm just saying it funny. I'm not sure. Number two is Anya, which is A-N-Y-A, -A. and it's just a sweet name. All these names I like because I feel like they all kind of work pretty well together mm. as siblings, and I would be able to say them over and over again and not get annoyed, you know? Yeah. Okay, number three, Morgan Fay, and Fay would be the middle name, but I feel like I don't like just the name Morgan, I like it with the Fay, so... That's why we included the middle name choice for this one. And I think this is the only one we actually have a middle name chosen for. Number three is Manel, which is M accent grove, N-E-L-E, -E, Manel. And this name um, is the name of a little girl I met when I was in France. 
Um, she was probably, I would say, maybe three when I met her and she was really cute. And that was four, maybe five years ago now. So she's, um, she's like eight years old now. What? <laughs> oh. As <laughs> But she was really cute and I really liked her name. And so it, that's why this name's on the list is because of that little girl I met in France that one time. <laughs> And our last girl name that we love, but won't be using this time around, is Genevieve. Now, Hens and I don't agree on a spelling for this. Um, I like it with um, a J at the beginning, and he likes it with a G. Which is French versus English. Yes. Oh, apparently there's one with the G's. French. Is a female given name of... Germanic or Celtic origin. Interesting. We just have to figure out the smelling, but that will be for a future baby because we're not using it this time around. <laughs> All right, on to boy names. And admittedly, um, our I'm list, just for <laughs> the list of girl names we have all together, we chose five and we had to find another one for the boy's name because apparently we have a lot more girls' names on the list than boys. Yeah, it was a name we both liked though, so yeah. it was just, we just we hadn't suggested it. Yeah, I think we both thought of it separately, but we didn't <clears throat> suggest it to the other person. Yeah. <laughs> However, Lord name Frederick. one is Avery, spelled A V E R Y. I wasn't fond of the name at first, but I actually really liked the name Avery. I say I knew uh, I had a couple of friends who were girls and their names were Avery and that's why I really didn't like the name. But I also like Avery because again, it's that old school style and I can then force my dream on them becoming a captain so I can call them Captain Avery constantly. Yeah, the only thing is <laughs> I kind of like Avery better as a middle name. Me too. Um, I kind of, quite frankly, with Avery, I kind of prefer Philip Avery as like, it would be Philip Avery. Last and, name. Yeah, <laughs> and I just I just kind of like the ring of it better. Uh, next we have Flynn, so F L Y N N, and I happen to just like the name because it sounds like a cool guy name. Yeah. You know, like it's just not much to it, but it, it, but it's again it's an older style name. Yeah, you can kind of tell, especially with like Genevieve and Morgan Fay, that well, that's just our style. And even more so with name number three being Arthur. Yeah, you know, it goes with the Morgan part. Yeah. And also that was my great-grandfather's name, which I never put together. But apparently he was named after King Arthur. Apparently the story is that all... So he's the youngest of like 13 children. His family was Swedish. And all of his older siblings have very Swedish names, um, despite being in New York. And then he was born and his name was Arthur. And... <laughs> So apparently that was kind of a, it was, um, interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, yeah. I'm sure that was rough growing up with all of his siblings having very yeah. Swedish names. And then he was Arthur. <laughs> I like Arthur. It's actually just a name that I, I really like. Mm -hmm. uh, moving on to name number four, though, we have Henry. Yes. That's my father's name. Yeah. This would be Henry the fourth. Um, that name's been passed down on my father's side for several generations and, um, lots of male cousins on that side of the family also have the name Henry. Um, yes, not used so, for this baby though. Yeah. It's just a family name, but yes. not this one. Yes. Not this time. And then the last name that we had to pick that we both liked, just hadn't suggested, was Frederick. Yes. I... I really like the name Frederick. It's it is just kind of a very classic, powerful name. Yes. I don't like the nickname Fred though. I yeah, I say I don't I'm okay like with, I'm kinda of okay with Freddy for a little kid. Yeah. But not for an older kid. And I don't like the name Fred. Yeah. So that's the only thing you gotta be careful with that a little bit. But yes, as we said at the beginning of this video. These are names that we like and we'll probably, probably use using. for a different kid at some other point. Yes, and this just name, not this kid. 
This list is always being added on to, so we'll probably do it with our next kid as well. Yeah, I like these names. I think they really fit with just both of our personalities as well. And that's going to do it for this video. Just kind of a nice, short, sweet video, I'm thinking. It's been a very, very long week, so I'm glad that we managed to still put something out. Um, welcome to all my new subscribers again. I feel like I'm saying that every video now, but I feel like after every video I'm getting new subscribers. So thank you so much. Welcome. Um, if you haven't seen him before, this is my husband, Hans. Yeah, he hasn't been in a video for a while, um, just because it's my channel, <laughs> you know, yeah. and he doesn't necessarily want to be in every single one, and I'm starting to get a little more confident with it, where I don't need uh, my big teddy bear to <laughs> sit next to me. <laughs> I guess we'll be doing the old wife's tale video next, next upload. Next upload. Um, I might be starting to change my upload pattern a little bit. Um, I do every other week at the moment, but I feel like I have a lot of videos I want to get out right now um, and not enough time to get them out before the baby comes. So I might be, not consistently, but uploading in between the every other weeks once in a while. So keep your eyes out for that. Lots of baby stuff on the way. I better lighting change because a little black cat stuck her butt in the window. <laughs> But lots of fun baby stuff coming up. We're getting into Christmas, which is really exciting. We're taking down Halloween tomorrow. Um, until next year, all these ghosts, make sure you like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Toodles. <laughs>